Hey, what's up everybody? So as some of you know, I'm creating a new game in Unreal Engine, a space survival simulator type game that's going to be available on Steam later this year uh, called Outpost 14. And uh, I'm working on creating some introduction videos, uh, some trailer pieces, some cutscenes uh, for this uh, using Unreal Engine and uh, DaVinci Resolve. And so I wanted to create a little video and show how I'm doing some of these things. So let's start out here in Unreal Engine and as you can see I've got my first uh, level built here and uh, I've just got some basic stuff. Let's see, uh, I've got um, this planet, I've got a couple of moons, I've got um, uh, this uh, spaceship asset. Uh, let's see if it will let me get to where I can control and a couple of cameras and that's pretty much it for this uh, and it's all inside of a post-process volume um, and I have uh, the auto exposure turned off I've got it on manual that's why everything looks kind of dark here I like that for the more cinematic look uh, so uh, here's what we're what we've got going on um, first of all I set everything to 24 frames per second um, I just feel like it it looks more filmic that way, more cinematic. Um, uh, in fact, it even says uh, film here, so um, that works out well for DaVinci Resolve also. Alright, so let's talk about these assets for a second. Uh, this planet and these moons are part of the Planet Creator um, plugin from the Marketplace. I'm not sure how much that uh, currently costs. I may have gotten it uh, as a monthly free thing or I may have paid a small amount for it. Uh, it's well worth it either way if you're doing any kind of space stuff because even though these planets aren't full size like you can't zoom all the way into it they look good at a distance and they have like animated clouds and you can uh, change several things about them so I've tweaked this a little bit to look earth-like but not earth exact um, and I've added a couple of moons here to make it look uh, you know like it is another world which it's supposed to be the uh, spaceship models that I'm using um, are from uh, Kitbash 3D, and uh, I like a lot of their stuff. And this is from their uh, spaceships uh, model or model set. And I think I just grabbed one of their default pieces because I'm only kind of showing an edge of it. Um, but as you can see, this is a pretty cool looking model, uh, and I'm using um, another like little. Um, a component piece another uh, capsule let's see where is that I'm using it here uh, for this fall and so this is in the game this is what you start out with you are a robot that's inside of this and you have been deployed to this other planet uh, to set up this outpost outpost 14 uh, for the the humans that are arriving soon so you better do a good job or they're not gonna make it so at any rate uh, this uh, cutscene starts out, um, and you've already seen it because I, hopefully I played it at the beginning of this video, uh, but you know, you're seeing the spaceship here, there'll be some sound effects, uh, it deploys the, the pod down, the next shot the pod is here, uh, you know, entering the atmosphere of the, uh, of the planet, or whatever, I'm not really sure what I named the planet in the video, uh, those things I just kind of make up on the fly. Uh, so anyway, um, let's move on to the next scene. And so in this scene, you know, we've shifted view to the planet and the uh, the little pod is coming in um, for a landing. Let's see. Go to this view. And you see the camera kind of tracks it across. And uh, the, the next scene after this will be, you know, it on the ground with the robot coming out. That's the scene I'm working on next. Um, and so, you know, this is some pretty nice looking landscape stuff. Um, I had to do a little bit of adjusting with this because it was an 8K uh, landscape and, and that was a little bit too much for my video card to render out um, with the, uh, the high quality video. So, but as you can see, this, this looks pretty good to me. So, um, some other things I've done here, uh, like with the the uh, camera, uh, I typically set the lens to you know um, 12 millimeter or 24 millimeter, something fairly wide to get you know these nice landscape shots. Uh, and I will typically set the aperture you know fairly low. Uh, that just kind of looks more like a cinema lens to me. Um, and sometimes I will 
uh, I, I did it on the other one but I didn't do it on this one but with the focus uh, you can actually track an object so you know I could tell uh, this camera oh I do it here actually too so I'm, I am tracking to this capsule so wherever this capsule is it's going to change the focus distance and actually I believe you can see it change right here uh, as I'm scrolling through this you can see that focus distance change um, so that it keeps that uh, in focus at all times. Okay, so let's see, let's move over to DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how I put all this together uh, and create a video file. Oh, actually, let's let's back up one second. You're missing something here, Brian. So to export these videos in the best quality, you're gonna wanna use the Apple ProRes. Uh, and so to do that, you wanna go to the plugins and you wanna type in ProRes and you want to make sure that this Apple ProRes media is enabled. Uh, it's going to require you to restart uh, if you haven't already enabled that, uh, but that's going to give you uh, the better options here for the uh, export. So let's see, let's go to the movie movie render queue. Let's make sure that we're on the, this and not the legacy one. And let's see, so let's open this up uh, and we're going to go into the config here. I don't really care about this JPEG sequence. I want to uh, use this Apple ProRes 10 to 12 bit. And I usually will use the Apple ProRes 422 HQ. That's that's a pretty good uh, container for, for what we're going to do going forward. And uh, it's not, uh, the file size is not too huge on that. Uh, so everything else here is going to be okay for me for right now. So let's just accept this and let's hit render. And so it's going to kind of go through the scene. It's going to give you a low quality preview here as it's uh, creating the higher quality file. And so let's see, we'll just let this roll through. The camera change. All right, and so that's it. Now I have the video saved. And so uh, let's jump over to DaVinci Resolve and continue. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve, um, this is my project file. Uh, I've got my two clips that I created. Uh, this one was, you know, since I used the same uh, scene, I just created both clips in the same thing and just did a camera change from within Unreal. And then the second one, I created a whole other scene and exported the secondary video. And I'll have a fourth and a fifth and a sixth part of this uh, introduction uh, to the game, you know, as, as well. I just kind of wanted to go ahead and stop here and show how I was doing this. Uh, so uh, I pull them all in on the cut uh, timeline here typically you know I have this video and I have this one and I have like the overlap um, and then I will uh, do most of my work here in the edit tab and so in this case I've added a couple of these uh, text overlays and these are the default ones that come with Defend, uh, DaVinci uh, I'm not sure if they come with the free version or not I'm on the paid version um, but these are like the uh, let's see what are they they're the titles and I think they're like the the digital glitch lower third or something yeah so they're they're these things but I just changed the fonts uh, to match the fonts that I'm using for my game uh, and so you know I just made up some information here about what this planet is as you can see here's that clip um, uh, and then you know this right here this is where I introduced the game feature home of uh, shifting over to this scene um, going through here all looks pretty nice um, you may notice that the, the planet looks uh, quite a bit different more green uh, that is this uh, I put an adjustment clip here this is what I like to do when I'm playing around with uh, LUTs or with other kind of color grading things I like to put an adjustment clip that way I can uh, adjust everything all at once uh, and kind of see how it looks and uh, so let's see this um, you can see that's what it was before and this is after and so I'm just using, you know, a, a cinematic LUT from maybe Triune or something. I have a bunch of LUTs that I've uh, collected over the past few years. And the way that I typically would apply that is I'd go to the color tab and my adjustment clip is going to show up uh, as a different clip here. And on this one, I will, um, you know, add a node, add a serial node, and on this uh, extra node, and I do this so that, you know, I can disable it and see like this. On this node, I uh, add a LUT, and I still need to add some sound effects and everything else to this, uh, and I will do that here in the Edit tab. So uh, as I do my sound design and um, 
creating some theme music for this. Uh, that'll be one of the next steps. Uh, and uh, speaking of next steps, uh, here's some of the robot that I'm building in Blender that uh, will be part of the next scene uh, as this capsule lands uh, in the landscape and the the robot is deployed to begin to, to build the base and uh, collect resources from uh, the local landscape. So uh, make sure you subscribe if you like this type of content. Uh, I'll be uh, you know going through the whole process of building this game and, and getting it on Steam on this uh, channel and my other channel as well. So um, take a look in the description for um, any links and uh, leave comments if you have questions. And thanks for watching.